Hey guys, welcome back to the Don't Starve Mod Spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at a character mod that was sent to me by Mr. Tiddles. Uh, just a reminder, if you do want to send me mods, you can email me at thejardev at gmail.com or you can tweet me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash thejardev um, or Facebook, facebook.com slash thejardev, any of those will work. Um, but anyway, this is a really cool, very complicated looking character mod and I'm excited to give it a go. So we are going to play as character. Here he is, William J. Danningar, I believe. He's the inventor. So he's an inventor like Wilson, but he was more interested in the, the robotics side of science than Wilson was. Um, so he has very high sanity, pretty low strength, uh, about average hunger, I think. He has a terrifying problem, and also tappy shoes, which I will show you. And uh, he invents stuff and things. Brilliant, I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up with old Will. Okay. Oh my goodness. What are you doing here? Who are you? I wasn't expecting a new plaything. And that smell. Just who are you? I'll find out later. I'm very busy, you know. Hopefully I'll be in a better mood next time. So yeah, that was custom built for this mod. Um that Maxwell will talk specifically to old Will here. So you can see he's a little bit slower than other characters, but not too much. You can see his health is horrifically low, but he makes up for it with his sanity. Starts off with a walking cane and five gears. And his gears are what lets him build his robots and things. First, however, I want to show you his insane mode. And hopefully this will work with just a click of a button. Oh my god, he is scary. So he gets uh, like no, no sanity. Um, oh, so that was his hunger, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he gets more health in this mode. He is really quite cool. So if we go sane, he's back. Wow, that is amazing. That's so clever. That's a really cool mod. Okay, so this is probably gonna take a little bit of playing around uh, to unlock all the builds. Uh, but like Wickerbottom, he gets access to, um, he can do all the science machine stuff without a science machine, but he also gets the book tab, and this is where he uh, makes campfires. <laughs> no, this is where he makes his blueprints. So the first thing we're going to do is the butler blueprint. Right, butler blueprints, let's read the butler blueprints. You need more gears, do you? Okay. So the butler requires three gears to summon, so I'm going to get him some gears. Uh, people usually ask me, this mod is Too Many Items by CJB. Uh, there's a video for it on the channel already, and it's a very helpful mod for people like me who need it all the time. <laughs> okay, there we go. Bunch of gears. Let's summon this mechanical butler. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at him. So if you open him, I guess he acts a bit like a chester. Um... Can you take that down for me? Okay, so he, I believe he only lasts as long as the rabbit lasts, um, and when the rabbit dies, uh, he just kind of becomes a little statue, and you just put a new rabbit in him. But for now, if we get an axe, and we go on this tree, Butler should... Yeah, look at him go! Go, Butler, go! So this Butler has high attack, and well done, guy. So if we pick up a log, we go up to him, and we give it to him. You can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? Right, of course, so you can't just give them to him. You have to drag them in there. If you shift-click, uh, the items will disappear. And, oops. And apparently you have to use a hammer to get them back. Although, I just got that back when I shift-clicked. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, I guess if you... Oops. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Right, the next blueprint is the Brute Blueprints. Even you are an insecting companion. Okay, also needs a rabbit, so let's go ahead and make this. Uh, I wonder how many gears this will need. So this one actually needs uh, two Nightmare Fuel to summon. Um, so let's get those. Okay, so we should have enough for a Brute. Oh, we need gears as well. Oh, did you hear that piano there? I'll just replay it. So that's his custom voice that was played on the piano by Mr. Tiddles. This mod is just crazy. <laughs> right, sorry, it's the next level that needs the Nightmare Fuels. Uh, so we do need some more gears for this one. 
Okay, here we go. We should make the brute. Whoa, look at him. Hey there, buddy. Oops. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Will. He's slow, but he doesn't need to be fast with that strength, so how slow is he? Not even that bad if I listen to them go. Very cool. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you can actually heal them with gears. Oh, look at him go there. Right, and the final one is the Reaper Blueprints, uh, which needs a crow. Uh, more gears, that's fine. So let's go ahead and make the blueprints for this. And it needs two Nightmare Fuel, like I said before. So let's make that. Hello. Nightmare Fuel is amazing stuff. It sure is. So his cool thing is uh, he has very high attack speed. Can you guys just like attack that guy? No. Um, but he will also teleport away if he gets attacked, which is really great. Uh, and now these guys do something cool if I go insane, so we're just going to go back to insanity. There we go, you can see, uh, oh god, this guy at least is looking pretty crazy. They all look pretty crazy now. We'll go back to being sane. There we go. Fantastic. And believe it or not, there is still more to this mod. So if we go to the science tab... We can make a pointy wrench uh, with five gold, a gear, and a twig, which is pretty much just a weapon. So the wrench does 51 damage, it has 150 uses, and it can also be used as a mining pick, so it can take down boulders and stuff as well. Uh, sorry, the other one we want to do is in magic, and that is... Whew, so much in here. Is a nightmare wrench. Bash things over the head with the power of something. Uh, very similar, except it needs three nightmare fuels instead of a stick. So we'll go ahead and make that. So this drains sanity when equipped, but it gives sanity back when you attack things. Uh, it does more damage and lasts longer than the pointy wrench, and it can still be used as a pick as well. Alright, and another thing, <laughs> there's so many things in this, is uh, the mechanic's backup, which has extendable, in extendable, <laughs> extendable metal plating to provide extra protection or something. So, 12 gold nuggets, 3 gears, 5 ropes. Let's go ahead and make that. It looks like a backpack, but it is actually... Look at that, it's going... It's actually armor. Uh, so it will protect him. Very cool. And if we use it... <laughs> so it's kind of like the, uh, the berry hat like that. And now he's just hiding. Great! Okay, and the last two things in this are also under magic, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So there's concentrated nightmare fuel. Uh, three Nightmare Fuel and two Ashes. Is this really a good idea? And the other one is a bottle of happiness. <laughs> Smells like unicorn farts. Tastes like there's something else. Six petals, one butterfly wings. Pretty easy to make. Uh, so we'll make one of each of those. Uh, basically what this does is, as you can see there, Sanity minus 250. Takes you right down to Insanity so you can uh, easily trigger your Insanity form. Whee! Fucking crazy. And Bottle of Happiness will recover a large amount of sanity. Ta-da! <laughs> there we go, we're, we're, we're fairly back to normal. So that is it. That is a very extensive mod. Very cool mod. Thank you again for sending that to me. Uh, that's really cool. Thank you guys for watching the latest Don't Starve Mod Spotlight, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! guys for watching Don't Starve. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these mods. If you want to, you can click subscribe, and if you'd like a guess, you can hit like too. This has been a Jordan production. There's lots of other bits on the channel. If you click subscribe, I'll love you, and really, isn't that what everyone wants? I mean, you just want us to love you, right? Now, we, we want you to love us which would be fantastic. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't liked this video so he doesn't like Don't Starve, right? Thank you for watching.